Looking like history will be made inside the Carrier Dome, not once, but twice. As a matter of fact, on Monday, the university hopes to set a new attendance record for the women's team. But first, on Saturday, the same is going to happen for the men's game against Duke University. But as News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains tonight, for the men, it won't be by all that much. It was a career night for Michael Benege, February 14, 2015, against Duke. And it remains a career high for the Carrier Dome. 35,446 fans tying the attendance from the Duke game the year before. The only two weekend games for Duke at the Dome until this Saturday. You know, when somebody says that the attendance has changed a little bit, those are, where do you find those seats? Well, we found them this summer. The Dome's director finding eight more seats to sell at the score table, four on each side of the team rows. That will put Saturday's sellout at at least 35,454, spread from courtside to nosebleeds. We actually went up in seats and, and sat in seats that we've sold to make sure that you can see wherever the person would be on that court, wherever the players would be. We do that before every big game like this, Andrew. It's, it's important. We don't sell any um, obstructed view seats here. So We don't want to sell anything where you can't see all four corners of the court, right? We're not, you know, we're not going to do that. If you want tickets to the Syracuse Duke game, you're out of luck. The game is sold out. But if you want to come inside the Carry Dome Saturday morning, ESPN's College Game Day will be here for the first time in five years. Uh, game Day was just in Kentucky last week. They had a great, uh, great showing at the uh, Coliseum in Lexington, so we want to try to match and surpass that on Saturday. While Saturday's men's attendance will only be a little bit more, the university hopes Monday's attendance for the women's game will shatter its record. The current record is 11,021, which we set for Notre Dame two years ago. I think we are comfortably on pace to break that and break that significantly. For those who can't be a part of Saturday's sellout, there's still seats to be part of Monday's record. At the Carrier Dome, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.